Hello and thank you very much for watching this Mobility Today. First look at the newly announced Droid Incredible by Verizon Wireless. This phone is sporting Android 2.1 with the HTC Sense experience. It also has a 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Um, the other thing that it has, which we're going to go into in the other part of the review, which is uh, called a friend stream, which gives you a unified Flickr, Facebook, and Twitter updates all on one screen, which is really, really interesting. Um, it also has an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash for great photos. It also offers the optical joystick in the middle. It has the proximity sensor and an integrated GPS, Wi-Fi, 802-11, B and G only, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Now, mind you, this phone will be available uh, for, for purchase on April 29th and pre-order on the 19th. So let's take a look. This is the first I am seeing it. So we're going to first take a look at the device itself. All right, so there is the Incredible. Now, I always thought they should have went with the Incredibles theme, like the, uh, the movie, but unfortunately, they didn't. Now, the other thing that was interesting was the leaked photos. Uh, looks like HTC has changed their charger. Let's see if I can focus in on that. There you go. Um, and the standard micro USB. Now, um, many of us have saw the leaked photos of the Incredible. And the Incredible originally had a, a black, uh, excuse me, a red back. And this is soft touch, soft, touch, soft touch finish here, as you can see here. So we're going to take a look. First things that you're going to see here is your volume rocker, right here and here, your USB charger, you have nothing on this side, nothing on this side, and your power button on this side. You have the 8 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash. Now, again, mostly these will be popped off, and there you go, that is the back without anything and let's just get the battery out which comes out this way and so everyone can see the battery there you go and for me it looks like a 1300 milliamp hour battery I think um, I'll double check that and put that in the specs let's pop this back in there and drop the case, the back of the case back in. That went in, oh, there you go. And there's that. Now, mind you, this device is really anticipated for a while, but many have been asking about, well, where is the Nexus One? Um, I'm really excited about getting the opportunity to take a look at this, and I am gonna follow back up. I'm gonna be able to look at this for quite a bit of time. Uh, but most importantly, I just got this on, and this is Saturday, and I wanted to just do the quick unboxing first, and we'll then take a look at the software and the Sense UI and the friend feed and all of that great stuff. Okay, I've had some time to take a look at the HTC Incredible, also the Verizon Incredible, obviously the same device made by HTC. Um, anyone who's familiar with Sense, you're going to notice some of the familiar things, just such as your weather. Here you'll see your different weather just taking your swipe. You can set up multiple different locations however you'd like. You can synchronize your weather and so forth by just hitting this or you can set it to synchronize. I actually have this following me so say wherever I'm at it will follow my weather and give me an updated weather and it's been working flawless. Notification windows are standard here. Um, gives me my not notifications as it does and as you can see the the window here is pretty fluent um, and it's very, very fast. Gigahertz processor, and uh, definitely see the be benefits from it. Uh, a couple things. Uh, Verizon added, well, not Verizon, but obviously HTC has added some different applications. City ID. Uh, for example, if I look up uh, my local police department, you'll see I just typed in the phone number, and it'll tell me uh, the location. This is a great app for those who are making phone calls. Say, if you have a phone call coming in that you don't know who it is, it will automatically tell you the city that the call is coming from, which I really like that option. Uh, camcorder, 
The camcorder is absolutely stunning. Um, this is an 8 megapixel camera, and let's just say, I'm going to grab some of the older video that, we, that I've taken. Uh, let's just see. These are camera shots. Let's just, here we go. Here's the camera. And this is just a test that I did. And as you can see, the, the camera takes great video. Um, really, this is going to give um, the Evo, obviously, the same kind of quality. Uh, photos are, are, are also perfect. As you can see, let's just straighten this out. You zoom right in on the picture. Double tap, bring it in. Very, very nice camera. I'm really enjoying the camera. The camera has uh, just really outperformed uh, all my expectations. And just for those who want to see some of the options, um, we're going to go back out of here and back it back one more time into the camera view. Pull over your tray and here's your options. Uh, we're going to go into photo mode first. Uh, you're going to see you can set your brightness controls here. You can also set your uh, saturation. You can have a couple presets of what type of video that you want to take, sepia, negative, solarized, and so forth. And here is where you can set uh, your white balance, your ISO speed, the resolution, 8 megapixel, widescreen resolution. You also have uh, quality settings, self-timer, geotag pho photos, which is really nice. I, I kind of like that because um, it categorizes by location, metering mode, review can say a flicker adjustment. As you can see, I mean, the, this is a pretty elaborate um, of features that you have. And then also on the camera, you go back to video, and then again, brightness controls, contrast, saturation, same things, right? But let's just show you this now. Um, on the camera, I could also zoom in and zoom out. So you have that full capability. Now I know it's probably not looking right on the camera, but I really like the zooming feature on the camera. The other thing that I did like is, as you can hear that, you can do the autofocus on video now too. And I know that's something that they're adding into iPhone 4.0, but again, uh, HTC has done a brilliant job with adding that into the camera uh, capabilities of this phone. Coming back, Another uh, feature they've given, it's a little different car panel that we've, we've been really noticed, uh, noticed about. You have your footprints, <clears throat> and footprints are areas where you can take photos and share um, areas that you would like to go. And again, I don't have any footprints set up, uh, and my SD card's not set up. You can do navigation, you can do voice search, let's just say um, McDonald's, South Brunswick, New Jersey. There it is. So again, <clears throat> very, very good. Uh, voice search does a fantastic job. Coming back, you can view your map, you can make a phone call, and then you can do your search. This is really for when you're driving. So it's real fast, quick, uh, one touch capabilities for the incredible. Uh, the other thing they added, which uh, is the desk clock, a little different than what we've seen in the Nexus One. Um, when you take the phone, you turn it this way, you'll notice the camera flips, and when I come back this way, it's going to go back. Uh, similar to what we're, we're, we're used to, and then obviously it gives you your weather, again, on your clock, which is really nice. The other thing is um, FM radio. This gives you the capability of listening to FM radio. Uh, the thing is you have to have your, um, your headset in, and the headset actually acts as an antenna. So um, for that, that's a nice feature. And I've been using some online internet resources to get some of my radio. So uh, that definitely is a nice feature here. Um, Friendstream. Friendstream is a feature for HTC. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically a functionality they, they've actually added to Sense. And I'm going to get into a little bit of that a little bit later in the review. Um, they've also added for those... Um, some of these apps, if you have an Exchange account, you definitely want Lock Picker. Otherwise, on this device, you have to go every single time. You have to 
you have to type in your passcode. Even when you power the device off, it's the biggest pain in the neck. Uh, definitely recommend lock picker. Um, NFL Mobile, you can, uh, this is new. Verizon just announced it. The thing I hate is every time you go into it, you gotta hit accept. All right, and then uh, it's gonna bring you into the app. You can watch um, live NFL channel right now. So if I come in here, it'll start playing the NFL channel live. Let's just see what happens here. Uh, again, I'm down in my studio. Coverage is very sporadic, but Verizon's network has done a brilliant job with uh, keeping up the speed. There it is. There it goes. So we go like this. There you go. And this is exactly what's on the NFL channel right now. And as the time goes on, it renders much better. And as you can see, that's a pretty, pretty good picture right there. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to go next. Um, Peep. Peep is a standard HTC uh, Twit application that comes with the device. Um, Quick Office also comes with the device here. Um, uh, searching people, that's basically a way to search your contacts. Um, I did add Google Voice. I did add the Weather Channel. Um, and obviously you have YouTube. Now, there's a couple things I want to show you which I thought was pretty unique. Friendstream. Friendstream will grab your, your Flickr. It will grab your, um, your Flickr, your Twitter, and it will grab your um, Facebook. So, as you can see here, Devils are playing. Last updated at 6.37 it looks like, seven minutes ago. Now this is all my Flickr and my Facebook, all on one little stream. So now I can click over here and everything's here. I can drag my finger here, status updates, there's the status updates, photos, I can see what photos um, that were set up in Facebook and so forth. I actually shut off Facebook on mine uh, just because it was posted on uh, both ways. Uh, some of the widgets that they've added, um, I'll go through some of those. Um, here we go. You have bookmarks, you can add bookmarks to it. So from your widget you can, oops, let's do this, bookmarks. There's all your bookmarks and they could be as a widget on your home page. Um, Facebook, footprints, friend stream which we have. Latitude, uh, latitude, I don't know why but there it goes. So you can sign on to Latitude. We're not going to run that right now. This one seems like it takes a while to go because it's running off the GPS and it's really annoying. And it, I, I just uh, don't like that. So we're going to go back. Again, it still wants to just drag it and remove it. Come back, widgets. All right, and then you got tons of widgets here. Um, search, you can do the HTC search. We already did the stocks, weather, and YouTube. Now, one thing I noticed, flash. Not many people know this, but there's something going on here that I've been testing that I thought was pretty unique. I'm gonna see if I can get it to do it again. This phone comes with Adobe Flash. Um, Again, I'm not sure this is my own ignorance. I'm not sure if this is known, but watch what, what we go through here. It, it basically goes through the process as it's gonna load. Um, and let me see if I can just zoom in on this because this is pretty interesting. Here you go. There it is, right? So right now, it's going through a flash. There's flash, it, it's working, right? So let's just say I wanna watch this movie. All right, it's gonna go in. And what I've been noticing is it just shows you the first three seconds and then it just goes not supported. And I don't know if that's something going on with Hulu that they're encrypting it some way, that they don't want this to work or what. Um, but again, it, it, it worked for two or three seconds and it cuts right out. Here we go again. Let's see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Nope. There you go, watch. I don't think you're going to see this on many reviews, um, but I tested it and it was very sporadic and it would probably be a matter of time before we see something happen over at xdadevelopers.com. Um, I'm great, my battery's low. And then um, 
Now, mind you, this is over two days of use. Sorry, let's just see what this says. Sorry, unable to be shown. So then I usually pick another video. This is exactly what it does. It does this all the time. So if I pick another video, all right, it'll go through this. All right, let's just say we'll pick this. It doesn't matter what we're picking, right? And then this will load. Now, mind you, this is really intensive on the battery, and I think that's really one of the reasons why this is going on, um, just because Adobe is still tweaking the flash driver for Android. And I'm just hoping it doesn't die out right in the middle of my review. Um, so here we go. It'll go load the video, and then all of a sudden we will come back, and it will go white, and then either give me two or three seconds of audio, and then go with a big uh, triangle box that says not supported. There you go. That's a commercial. All right, so here's your commercial. I'm going to say, you know what, I want to learn more about that. See? So again, something's got to be going on here. This is something I'm going to follow up on. Um, flash support is definitely on this device. Uh, to what extent, that still is to be determined on that. Um, overall, battery life, again, this is pr very premature. I, I did not have this device that long. Um, I have not charged it yet. So from Saturday at 10 o'clock till now, this is Sunday. Um, over 30, almost 40 hours of uh, usage, um, and I've been running pretty good. Um, I have to say, this has been a real treat for me to use. Um, I, it, it makes me wonder where Android's going because it, I sincerely think uh, Apple has something to worry about down the road if they don't come out with something stunning on 4.0. And we did see my review on 4.0, and I know that's beta, um, but. Some of the things that Google's doing with Android are fantastic. And then some of the tweaks HTC has done with this processor are really, really making this device a fun device to work with. Um, be able to scroll through all my pages here and go right to the one page instead of going like this. Um, these are some of the new things that, uh, the, that they've added to Sense that uh, you don't get on the, the plain Jane Android uh, device. I do like the, J, you know, the Exchange integration here with Calendar. We don't have that on the Nexus One, which is a big miss by Google. And I think that's just licensing issues that we're looking at on that, which really bugs me because I don't like using Touchdown. But again, um, HTC is making the right changes for this device. So we're going to continue looking at the device. I'm going to continue doing some more ob observations and doing some more tests. I hope this review is helpful to you um, with your decisions and getting you a little more acquainted with the uh, Verizon Incredible. I do also want to thank Verizon for giving me this very, very tight opportunity to get my hands on this. I know they, they uh, really worked out of their way to get me this device, and I want to thank them. I also want to thank the audience for taking the time out to watch this. We definitely appreciate if you give us some thumbs up um, down at the box below and leave us some comments and make sure this video gets up to the top. I think it was hopefully useful to you. And again, check back at mobilitytoday.com, and we'll be sure to give you some more updates on the Verizon Wireless, incredible. Thank you.